Okay, mga nasang, konnichiwa, Samurai and Jardis. In this video, let us arrange the pieces, these pieces on the board. And let us uh, show it to you. So, you have to do this. So, similar. Similar symbols like this so I have to do it like this okay so there must be nine pieces like this okay so nine of them and another nine on the other side so another nine with similar so that's how they have to be placed on the board so your opponent must be on the other side sitting down here on this area and you are here so your chest pieces must be placed like this they are what they are opposing in opposing direction so this is the proper direction so you have what you have uh, what looks like an arrow here an arrow so this is the direction going that one going up so this is the direction going to the right going to the left going down so the proper direction is going to the direction of your opponent Okay, so that is the proper way and then your opponent's pieces is going to your direction okay so let us complete the uh, setting up of pieces so here so that's how you have to so place the uh, pieces uh, you have initial three layers on both layers so six layers and then a total of three layers of space before the start of the game so this is the proper setup so there are nine pieces in front so, uh, in uh, the traditional or the international chess, they are pawns. They are the pawns. So, I will explain it first uh, using international chess. These are the pawns. Okay. And we have two, only two uh, pieces on the second layer of each side. Of each side. So, nine pawns in front and then two on each side on the second layer okay and then there are again another nine pieces on the back what are the pieces in the back so we have the most important is the king at the middle this is the king and there are two uh, queens there are two queens there's the queens are beside the king and there are another lower lower uh, level queens okay. these are also queens but lower a little bit of lower level okay so we have so many queens in Japanese chess so these two queens have equal power and these two queens have a little bit of lower power than these two so they are put beside uh, the uh, regular queens okay and then the next one are the horse horsemen so these are the horsemen this one and this one okay and then the 
the uh, rook ko so international chess these are the rook okay so same to that the other side okay same so we have the king at the center queens and another set of lower queens okay so horse or the knight international chess called knight so and this is the rook and another rook on the side okay what about on the second layer this is actually the real rook <laughs> this rook is more powerful than this rook this rook only moves straight up straight up or vertical straight up this rook can move straight up and horizontal this type of rook can move very fast vertically or horizontally so therefore it can be expected to be able to move up to this point or actually to capture any pieces on its path take note the only pieces that can jump is are those horses okay? there are four horses they, they can jump but other pieces they cannot so either you move to the uh, empty space or empty empty square or to capture an enemy on that square but you cannot capture your own enemy okay so well, that is the rule and on the other side we have the the uh, bishop okay, so so this is the bishop that can actually move uh, diagonally on both diagonal directions okay so these are the basic uh, setup and then uh, on the next videos we will explain again uh, how to use them okay thank you this is dr ip pitching engineering for nation building